There's no such thing as black rights or, or women rights or LGBTQ rights. There's equal rights. Either we have them or we, or we don't have them. When people are battered, when they're crumbling, they have no place to go, there's an organization that's there to hold them together. There's an organization there that picks them back up. My senior year of college, I did an interview about being an ally. And in response to that single interview, I got some 2,000 emails from closeted kids across the country. Um, and it was really hearing their story and their experience of how they've you know, dealt with homophobia and transphobia that really made me want to do something about it. And realizing you know, if a wrestler can do that, if I could get a football player or a basketball player or an entire team to speak out, that would save lives, that would change lives, and that would make the world better, better for everyone. In the last year alone, we have seen more athletes come out, more allies speak out, and more attention paid to the LGBT experience in sports than ever before. We've seen important legislation, both passed and repealed, each of which have moved us closer to the day when our lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, or questioning friends are able to reach their full potential. I've been, we, uh, received an incredible amount of response from fans and, and the transgender community and just people outside of the community, just a lot of people who said that they respect me and like what I'm doing. This is the athletes section of the award ceremony tonight. And so let me start by talking about one of the, or the organization, which is an amazing group called Athlete Al, which is committed to ridding Sports, homophobia, and transphobia. I think Sochi is an awesome opportunity to bring um, equal rights and equality worldwide. You don't even have any rights in Russia. It's pretty much illegal to be gay. So what better an opportunity to, to bring the whole world together? Our um, LGBTQ brothers and sisters, if they go there and if they're wearing any type of LGBTQ paraphernalia, potentially, you know, they could be in, they could be in prison or they could be fined. And what's going to happen with the people that live in, in Russia? So it's a great chance for us to bring it worldwide and make change in Russia and make change around the world. We need greater leadership from the IOC on, um, you know, security assurances that LGBT fans and athletes will be protected from persecution. Um, but it is an enormous opportunity. The whole world is going to be watching and I hope that we're going to make a lot of impact uh, at Sochi and uh, because of the Winter Olympics.